how to add parallax effect on Wix Studio. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can add the parallax effect on certain elements on your Wix Studio website. So the process is very easy and very simple. You need only to have a website that is created on Wix Studio and that website is going to be seen whenever you are going to sign in into your account for the uh, Wix and a normal Wix.com. Then you're going to sign in into your site's dashboard. You're going to see some websites that has been or has no label on them uh, as like this built on Wix Studio. If you have a website um, has a label like here, like this, it is going to be a Wix Studio website. If you do not have, I highly suggest for you to click on create a new studio or create a, a new site. And then you're going to click on try Wix Studio. So aside from that, I'm going to click on the website that I have here, which is labeled uh, built on Wix Studio. Then we are going to see here the dashboard of that website. Now I'm going only to click on edit site because we are not going to need the uh, here, uh, the dashboard of that website. We are going to head over the editor directly. Once your website is showing up, what are we going to do here is to head over uh, here or down a little bit. So I'm going to add here a blank section. So you are going to see the whole effect here. I'm going to click on between the sections and I'm going to click on add section. And we are going to add some elements that could be, or they are going to have the ability to get the uh, parallax effect. So the elements that will include or have the parallax effect are going to be the elements that are dynamic. So we are going to have here some pictures or some strips or etc. So I'm going to start by adding here a picture. We're going to click on add elements. I'm going to add an image here. So this image, I'm going to make it a little bit here smaller and wider. I'm going to let you see here the whole effect of that. I'm going to put it like that. And then what I'm going to do is to uh, here, I'm not going to change the image, but I'm going to open the inspector for that image. Click on open inspector. Then we're going to click on animations and effects. So basically the uh, parallax effect is going to be on uh, the scrolling effect, not on the hover, not on the click, and not on the loop, only on the scroll. So we are going to click on scroll, click on add. And from here, we are going to scroll down. So we are going to see the type of animations. We can go ahead and click on in on our out. This is the type of animation. And the animated element is going to be here, the image itself. We have here parallax. So we are going to choose parallax. You can adjust the animation to it. For example, for the speed and for the animation area. So I'm going to let it as it is. I'm going to scroll to preview just like that. And as you can see, this is the animation area. Now I'm going to click on publish or we are going to click on preview. So I'm going to preview here the effect and you are going to see that the image is going to have the, the parallax effect. It is not applied very well, but it is going to be just like that. So as you can see, the uh, image is going to be minimized and also uh, stable for a certain period. So it is going to be up in here and down. So I'm going to click on edit site. This is the uh, parallax effect for the image. We can go ahead and modify the image and make it a little bit bigger or make it a little bit here, uh, let's say reasonable. So we are going to make it just like that. I'm going to double tap on the image. We're going to click on this, but I don't know why the image is going to be like that, but it doesn't matter. We are going to add another image. So we are going to put it in just like that and have the effect on it. So let's go ahead and add another uh, thing or another uh, say elements so we can add the here we have the wireframe so we are not going to add the wireframe but layout tools so let's see here 
uh, I'm going to add maybe a strip or let's choose here a text. I'm going to add uh, the parallax effect for the text. So I'm going to uh, have here a heading added. So we are going to put that heading in here. So it is above the image. I'm going to put it in here and we are going to repeat the same effect for the image and the header. So I'm going to open up the inspector, head over the scrolling effect, click on add. Uh, we are going to click on parallax. Here we have added the parallax. Now I'm going to select the header. Then we are going to open up the inspector. So you need only to open up the inspector. So let's he head over the animation and effects. Click on scroll, add parallax. We're going to click on preview. Now we are going to see the parallax effect. So basically the image and the heading are going to have here the ability to move in whenever I scroll. So when I scroll, the heading is going to be back or uh, here uh, heading down. And if up, it is going to be covered underneath the image, just like that. So what I am going to do here is to remove the image. I'm going to remove the image and let only the text appear. So we are going to see the difference. I'm going to preview and you are going to see that the text is going to uh here scroll or uh visit or not visit but get here near the second image for the second section and far far from it so uh that's it that is the uh, parallax effect and if you want to add it to different elements you need to test them out so you can add here the, uh, let's say the parallax effect to the text, to some media like the images and etc. You can add it for some decoratives. For example, uh, I don't know here, I'm going to try it out. So let's see here if we can do it. So basically you can add it to this specific uh, decorative. You're going to see only that we have the parallax effect on them. So it is going to refresh the page and we're going to see that the uh, here the um, decorative is going to move along with the heading that we have applied the uh, parallax effect to. So basically you are going to test all the elements that could be added or could be having the effect and then you are going only to apply it to. Basically, we have not lots of elements that we can add or they put the parallax effect for, but it is going to be very sufficient for these basic elements. Here I have brought to you the elements that I have tested out to have the, uh, the scrolling effect or the parallax scrolling effect on them. And I'm going to name them to you. So here we have basically the heading, the shape or the basic shapes, here we have the repeaters so you are going to head over the animation and you're going to see scroll when you click on add you're going to see parallax here we have the text or the descriptions containers buttons and video boxes all of these could have or could be added to the specific area so basically you are going to head over the scroll effect do not forget it and see that we have the parallax effect and apply it to them so also the buttons, I think that I did not mention them, the buttons too. And here we have a lot more. So we are going to click on add elements. And from the quick add, you're going to select these and then you're going to put them. Also, we have the vertical and the horizontal line and the shapes. That was all for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content and I hope to see you soon on the next one.